Hi there, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel and in this video, we're going to address the question that we've been getting numerous times recently. Are hammer drills a stupid tool? I'm going to let you all down real slowly here with my answer. Yes, they are a stupid tool. Doesn't matter if you have a full size 18 volt, 20 volt, hammer drill, or this more compact 12 volt hammer drill. These are literally useless tools for professionals, for contractors, and for tradespeople. Now stay with me here before you go down to the comments section and start furiously typing. You're crazy, Vince. Why would you say such blasphemous things? Because I am of the belief that when you're a Jack of all trades, you are a master of none. I mean, some people will say that that phrase finishes off with, you know, but I'd rather be a jack of all trades and a master of none, but have experience in all trades and whatever it may be, that's the deal. Here's the thing, if you're wanting the best tool for the job, a lot of people come to the channel and argue that a hammer drill is not the tool. Why is that? Because with the adoption of things like impact drivers and multi-chucked installation drivers, you're getting a lightweight solution to complete your task. And what am I talking about? Here's, it, here's the deal. Everybody knows that the thing that you're doing with your hammer drill the most, let's be honest here, you're drilling holes and you're driving fasteners. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I, that's not what you're doing with this tool. And with that being said, you're carrying around all this extra weight and size. Look how big this is. All this extra weight and size to do something that could be more easily accomplished with this tool or this tool. Some of you might say, Vince, listen, these compact tools aren't able to spin the hole saws or the auger bits that I need. They sell drill drivers that are full-sized in place of this hammer drill. It eliminates the extra hammer function from this tool. And that means that the cost of this tool comes down. So you're saving money. Also, you're saving size and weight, so you're able to use your drill driver more versatilely and use it for the things that you're really using it for more efficiently and more functionally. Now, for the real tradespeople here, you know what I'm getting at. If you're drilling masonry consistently, are you really gonna do it with your hammer drill? No, what you're going to do is, you're going to use a rotary hammer for consistent, precise holes over time, numerous holes within a day. You're going to adopt a rotary hammer. You're not gonna be using a hammer drill. The industry has become so specialized in what it's creating to complete tasks. Is there really any use for something like a hammer drill? There is one instance where a hammer drill would make sense. If you're willing to tote around the extra size and pay the extra money for these specialized situations. And that is where you maybe wanna put this in your toolkit and get more versatility from the tools that you're carrying. You don't want to carry specialized rotary hammers, impact drivers, drill drivers. You want one tool that can do all of those things. But is that really the most efficient and effective way for tradespeople to get their job done? I don't think so. And what do you prefer? An all-in-one solution like a hammer drill or do you prefer having specialized tools for each job, getting done more efficiently, saving more time, but incurring more expense? We wanna know, leave it all below. Also, if you wanna see more groundbreaking cutting edge technology tools, and make sure you watch this next video. Don't let yourself down. Be on the cutting edge. Don't miss it.